So then you've got your joint venture with the, the state agents just to confirm the refurb, a bill, agree your builder's quote, agree the time frame. If you want to, we don't at this stage do that, Dean, put in any penalties for late delivery, but you could if you felt it was appropriate, just depending on the time frame. We always pay 30%, 30%, um, 30% with 10% for snagging. And again, that's just a nice another piece of information for your JV partner to know. How are you going to pay 30, 30, 30 with 10% for snagging? That feels held if you are the JV partner, doesn't it? That you know professionally how to deliver the finance. And clearly the 30, 30, 30 are delivered on both dates, but also uh, milestones. So if we agreed a certain date and the shower would be in or the first fix would be in, it's not in, even though it's the date, well, we'll hold back payment until the first fix is in. Because usually there'll be some reason why that isn't in. Um, manage the either daily or weekly and you would normally if you're the project man manager or the admin so you want a little spreadsheet saying have we written to the council tax have we written to the water rates have we identified who the gas and the electricity suppliers are and have we now taken over that bill now early days we used to actually take over the bill ourselves and then charge our JV partner and frankly that's just silly you know because all we're doing is double accounting so these days we actually write to those four utility suppliers and say here's our JV partners details could you please write to them please and our JV partner just pays them directly because there was we were just making extra work for ourselves I was thinking it was terribly smooth for JV partner but they still have to pay they just have to pay us instead of the council so you know I wasn't really helping anybody out much um, if you need any building rigs, um, get them in early. Remember, they need to. If the roof is needs redoing, or if it's moving gas, or if there's any kind of structural, you want to get your building guys in early, and then get them in during the build, and then get them in at the end. You do not want to turn around at the end ready to sell, and they say, "Have you got building rigs?" And you're like, uh, "Nope." So get your building rigs guys early. If you're unsure. Perhaps you just want to phone the council and say, this is what I'm doing. Can I just double check whether you need building regs? My builders tend to like commercial building regs organisations rather than dealing directly with the council. I don't know whether there's a hesitancy around dealing with bureaucracy or officialdom, but it tends to be that they prefer the commercial guys. And make sure you're keeping very close uh, eye on the books. So we have a spreadsheet uh, where we put all the costs, the date, um, who it was, who paid it, what it was for and the amount paid. And we ask our JV partner to fill that out. Did I just see a little look to each other going, maybe we should do that Saturday night? Yes. Um, it's easy to let it slip in, in the run of a project. It just really is. Um, but these days, what we do is with our JV partners, we actually put it on Dropbox and we ask them to update anything and we, we we also in our spreadsheet have um date we updated the spreadsheet and date we asked the jv partner to update the spreadsheet and we do have to nag them a little bit because sometimes your jv partners thinks it all happens like magic and sometimes they're amazing with their paperwork we we in a perfect world would scan every invoice so they can see obviously everything that's needing to be paid um, and then we have a bookkeeper that comes in on a Wednesday and obviously she attributes every invoice to the different projects. So we actually have a double check. We have our internal spreadsheets, which Vicky runs, and then we have our bookkeeper who attributes all the invoices and we just double check that to make sure that we haven't made a mistake.